Hi everyone, Karen here. Today we're going to do a rocker card, but we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to do it based on the parameters from the last episode of Craft Roulette. If you haven't seen Craft Roulette, go find it on YouTube. It's on every Friday night, and Mary the host always has a guest, and they spin a roulette wheel, and they pick four parameters that their cards have to be. And then they spend the next hour chit-chatting while they make their cards. And then everybody watching has until Sunday night at midnight to send in their cards. And then the next week, they spend the first half hour of the show talking about all the cards that were sent in. And it's really quite fun. You get to see a lot of different ideas. And I, I've really enjoyed it. I've watched a few episodes now. And I think I'm going to be doing this every week. So this week's parameters were rounded corners, which made me think rocker card. Two blues plus two. So I have blue paper, and I also have some blue ink to make my blues. And then my other two colors will be uh, green, um, two different shades of green. I will have flowers, and the basket will be fussy cut onto the rocker card once we put the basket pieces together. So let's get started. So I do have an SVG and a template for the rocker card. But it's basically a six-inch round circle with this semicircle cut out of it. And I do in the template also have a two and three quarters semicircle. And that will give you a place where you can stamp a sentiment to put on the back. So this is, you know, your basic rocker card, which you can use for anything. And to do the base of it, you would just take a six inch circle, fold it in half. But this one, we're going to put a basket on the front. So you will take the template that I have, which has these half inch strips and you will cut them six inches across. Well, I think this one might be seven inches, so it gives you a little bit of leeway. So we cut them across seven inches. So then we will construct our basket here and then we will glue it onto here. And the reason why there's an extra piece here and I didn't just cut strips, it is so much easier to put this together if all of this stays attached. And then you just cut it off at the end once it's all glued together or else this moves around on you and that's just way too much frustration that none of us want. So I was started off with this thinking this was a bluish green, but it looked too green to me. So I took Gina K powdered blue and all I did was drag it across. And that really gives you a nice texture pattern. Um, this looks really nice if you do it in craft card and then drag a brown across it. It makes it a really nice basket. I've done that before. So this is all dry. So this is what it will look like once it's dry. So this is what's going to go across. So for the pieces that are going to go this way, you want them smaller than the ones that go across. It looks different if they're two different widths. So I made quarter inch ones to go up and down. And I did the same thing with the Gina K ink to make them all look the same. Let me grab a couple more here because I started them. Let me grab a few more. So all you do here is the same thing. Just go across. And it, the more uneven it is, the better it's going to look at the end. So let's make sure I have them all done. Here's one that needs to be done. So we'll just rub it across. And you can start halfway down the strip. Because if I go this way, yep, go this way, it makes, but if you start in the middle, it actually gives you like ridge patterns that look more like a basket. So I'll just go across. And we need 12 of these. And it's all on the template that's below. So we need 12 of these. You need one, two, three, four, five, six half inch strips. And definitely leave it attached at the end until we're done. And now we're going to construct the basket. And this will fit on a six by six inch rocker card when we're finished. So the first one. We're going to start, just decide which way you want to go. So we're going to weave it back and forth like this. So now we're going to need to glue here, here, and here. So we're just going to put a little dab of glue. And you can do this from the front or the back. Because we are all, this will all get glued down to the basket when we're done. 
So it's okay if not every bit is glued down at this point. So we're going to glue that. So now the next time we will go the opposite direction. So this one will be on top, this one will be on the bottom. And you can see what I mean by this being all attached. This goes together so much easier if this is attached. So we're going to dab a little glue here. We're going to push this into place here. And you can use this method with any card that you're trying to make a basket on. Um, it's a lot easier doing it this way. And cut your pieces bigger than you need. Because that way you can just trim them down and it just makes the whole thing a lot easier. So the next one. So now we go on top again. So now we put glue here, here, and here. And we're going to slide that one into place. Next one, I'll put a little more ink on this one. Let that one dry. So now this one again, we'll go under the first one. So the glue will go here, whoops, a little too much. Here and here. All right, so let's see here. Do we need, whoops, that one came loose. So if we want to line those up there and there, nope, that's it. We only need 11. The way I spaced them out, we only need 11. Make sure this last one is glued on here. All right, so now we have all of our weave. So now I'm gonna trim the top. So there's now the top of our basket. All right, now this is our six inch circle. And I did decide that was too green and I wanted it to match this. So I took the powder blue from Gina K and just wiped it along the top, just like I did for the basket here. So now this will be lined up here. This one's a little loose. We put a little glue on this one. All right, so let me check and make sure all my edges are down good. Just that one. I put a little glue on this one since it's on the end. Okay. So our top is all good. All right, so now this will go on here. 
you want to line this up how you want your basket to be on top. I think I did flip that over. So since I inked both sides, we can decide which side we like better. And I think I like the dark side better. I like this side better. So do I want this to be the top? Yeah, I want this to be the top. So I'm going to trim this end. And I'll show you why in a moment. So when I did this one, this end will line up the top pieces to the top here. And I just like the look of that better. Because this way it will be on the top. Or you do it this way. And then your pieces are going to be trimmed this way. So you can do it either way. Whichever way you like. So we're going to put glue all over the bottom of the circle. Make sure you get it on the edge because you can wipe it off if it comes out. You just want to make sure you don't have any edges sticking out at the end. So I'm going to line this up where I want it because that's why we make it bigger than we really need because now I can center this how I want it. We're going to press that down. Make sure our top is nice and straight. Give it a rub from the back. This is all going to be covered, so don't worry about this. Now I'm going to let that dry for a moment, and I'm going to go on to the next part. All right, while that dries, I am going to score my middle piece here. This is basically the circle with a square in between. And I did it this way, so I have a place to put my flowers in the middle. So I have this line driven down, drawn down my scoreboard so I can keep this straight. So this, I'm just going to put here just for the sake of having a straight edge. So we have eight. Then I'm going to do eight and a half. Nine. Every half inch, I am going to put a score line. And I want to make sure this one's nice and straight, so we'll put this one here. Oops. And across. Yep. Okay. So now I have this folded at every half inch. going to want to get this really good and down. All right, so now this will stand up like this and our basket will be on the front. So let's see if our basket is dry. I think this is now dry. Almost enough that I can cut it now. I'm going to take my scissors I'm going to use my smaller ones. And we're going to fussy cut around the circle. Nope, I'm going to use my bigger scissors. I have to say, when I saw fussy cut, I wasn't completely thrilled. I am not a big fussy cutter. But then I thought about this basket card. I make these for Easter. And uh, they're really cute. I put some Karen Berniston little bunnies on there. And uh, they're really cute. Alright, so now we have a round basket. Alright, 
So we have two shades of blue. We have fussy cutting. We have one shade of green here. And we have one shade of green here for our two extra colors. Because the neutrals, the browns, and the tans, and the grays don't count. All right, so now we have this piece here, which will get glued on. And if you think the edge might show a little bit, you can always take this and put a little edge on it if you don't want that white to show. Now we will glue the back of this. We can check and make sure we don't have any loose pieces here on our end. Let's see. That's good. Uh, maybe put a little bit of glue here. Yeah, it looks like this one could use a little extra glue. Put some glue on the back here. going edge to edge so just use your fingers to line it all up and there you go and now we have a rocker card that looks like a basket and now we have all this in here where we can put our flowers now we need to decide I will probably be cutting these stems off probably only want them let's see and if you're afraid this is going to flop open what you can do is just take a piece let me grab some paper here all right so if you just take a piece of paper and i'm just going to cut this by hand real quick but you can measure this out and make an m Probably want it to be, let's see. That's probably good. So let's see how long this is. About two and a half inches. And you only need it to be like a half an inch wide. Just fold it into an M. And then on the inside of your card, you're gonna put some glue on this end bit on here and we'll just attach it on the inside just hold that for a second probably you should have used the uh, quick grab glue and then that will hold it and that will keep it from opening too far yeah, so just about two and a half inches, fold it into an M, and glue down the sides, and that will keep it from opening too far. So then you can still fold it flat to put in the envelope. Okay, so now we have our flowers. I'm going to lay this flat so you can see it, and you're not just looking at it from the top. All right, so now I need to color my flowers. So I did this one that way, a little more water watercolored looking. I didn't care for it as much. So I think the rest of them we're going to do this way. So to do this, let me put the lid on this. I'm going to use for the green G99 for the uh, for the flowers to give them a little bit of color, even though I'm leaving them white. I'm going to use C1, and for the inside of the flower, I'm going to use W3. All right, so. 
So I'm going to color these like this. And these flowers are from Crafter's Companion. And they are the Butterfly Meadow Silhouette Stamps, uh, dies. All right, so there's all the green. Now let me put the centers on the daisies. Let me get rid of that one. I'm not going to use that one. That gives me four and one, two, three, four. All right, so now to keep the flowers white. I am just going to put a little touch of gray here and there. Now I'm going to use W3 again for the flower centers. All right, so now they're all colored. All right, so let's take our basket. So now we can decide how high we want our flowers. And we we're probably going to end up cutting some of these down. I think I only want them that high in the middle. So let's cut this one. All right, so this gives us two daisies in the front, one in the middle here. And we have two of the little flowers cut in half in the front. That gives us a total of one, two, three, four, five, six stems in the front. And we have one daisy in the middle part with two bigger ones. That's nine. Let's see, I have one more daisy. Now this is part where uh, glue that gives you a moment before it sets is good because then you can arrange your flowers a little bit more. What do you think? Is that enough flowers? That might be enough flowers.
Now, for this one, I decided to put a Happy Mother's Day banner on it. And when I make a card like this, it's all die cut. I don't want to put a stamped banner on the top, so I just cut a long strip. This one, I believe, is... Let's see. This one is 9 inches long. And I folded it back to where it will now fit as a 6-inch card. So and you have to kind of play with it a little bit to see how much you want to fold in the back and how much you want to fold in the front. And I'm going to take some foam, my ginormous foam. I'm going to take a little strip, a little strip. And inside the first fold, I will put one on each side. And this foam is thin. It is 1 16th wide. And I bought this one from Gina K. I like it a lot because uh, the backing comes off really easily. I have bought some where I spend so much time fighting with the backing. Uh. All right, so we have a piece of foam in this fold and in this fold on both sides. And now we can decide where do you want to put it? Do you want to put it across the top here? Do you want to put it across the top here? I think I like it down here. All right, so I'm going to get some glue, and we'll be gluing this part here. And I need foam on this piece because this foam is going to make this stick out. So I need to put a piece of foam here in the middle to match it. I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to put some glue on either side here. Now we have this. That's really white on top. I think I'm going to cut a piece of green. Let's see. Let's... Maybe I'll do them in the front. That might be a little easier. All right. Let me get my fine tip bottle. And I like to use this one from Karen Bernstein. Um, it doesn't clog. I have used it on probably over 50 projects so far. And I've, had, I've used the whole bottle and refilled it. And it still has not clogged, which is fabulous. All right, so we're going to put this on here. Yeah, I like it better on the front. So on the front, let's see. We want to put one here. And I want to put one here. So I'm not going to need a whole one. All right, so let's glue this one in first. I'm just going to squeeze that closed. Get that to stick the wood a little bit. Oh yeah, that's much better.
I think to do this card again, I would do one row at a time and put the grass in as I went along and not try to slide it in later. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's much better with the grass on there. That looks nice and full now. So all that's left now is to put a sentiment on the on it, and you could just put one on the back here. So what you can do, if you want, you can cover the back with a six by six half circle, which I think I would probably go back and do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go cut out a semicircle and then put this on the inside. And let me grab a Mother's Day sentiment. Oh, here's another little piece of grass. And we put that on. We'll stick that in the middle here. There we go. All right. Let me go grab a sentiment and get a half circle. All right. So to get my half circle, instead of getting out my cameo machine again, I am going to trace this with a pencil and be brave. Let's see how I did. Oh, not bad. Not bad. All right. So I'm going to glue this on here. Well, first, let's see. So this will go on here. And I pulled out the sentiment that says... Thinking of you always makes my day. Thinking of you always makes my day. So I'm going to put this on the back. Let me grab my stamping platform. Right, this will go in the middle. That looks good. and dark. All right. I think we're just about done. All right. So let's look at this. So I have two shades of blue. I have the light blue that was on these pieces and I, the second blue was Gina K powder blue. Uh, the other two colors I used were this mint green and this darker green. The neutrals don't count. So the grays and the tans don't count. So that covered that. Then I fussy cutted around the basket. I fussy cutted the back part and there are flowers. So there it is and it rocks and it's round. There it is. So I hope you give it a try and uh, look, look down below for the links for the template because that makes it a lot easier to cut the circle. And until next time, stay crafty.